Hey guys, alright? Welcome everyone. Several miles north of the Great Wall, we meet William and his friend Pero Tovar, fleeing from some horseback bandits. The two release some horses and watch as their pursuers pass by without spotting them hidden. At night, in the desert, Pero says they have a mission to complete, the mission is to obtain and understand gunpowder. While William and Pero talk, the other two are killed by a monster. William turns and discovers both are gone without a trace. Then, they hear and realize it was a beast, not a man. The beast advances on them and they are ready to attack, which they do and kill. William says they should take the beast's hand to find out what they just killed. In the morning, they are chased again by bandits who want them dead but end up at the Great Wall, where they encounter an impressive army and are quickly surrounded. With few options, William and Pero dismount their horses, choosing to surrender to the Chinese rather than the bandits behind them. At headquarters, the commanders inspect the beast's arm. Commander Lin confronts William, asking where the hand was found. He says it wasn't found, it was taken. She passes the information to the others, as she knows both Chinese and English. They are not surprised by the beast, but by the timing of the attack, earlier than expected. She asks William how they killed it, and he says he was the one who killed it, but no one believes him. However, a man confirms their story, seeing green blood on the sword. But Lin still thinks killing them is appropriate. Lin asks why the two are there, and he begins to explain that they are there to negotiate. Lin wants him to die, which some agree with, but one man opposes the decision. Before a real decision can be made, a soldier enters and announces that they are under attack. The general orders the intruders to be locked up and prepare for battle. On the way to the dungeon, they learn the beasts are called TAOTAI, coming from a meteor and attacking once every 60 years. Once in the dungeon, a guy can't find the key, so he is ordered to take them up to the wall. Now on the wall, they see the soldiers, the weapons, and both in abundance. Everyone moves to their positions, preparing for the fight ahead. They wait patiently but nervously, as creatures approach in the distance. They start preparing fireballs and shoot at the creatures. Archers begin shooting arrows and kill many, but there are thousands of beasts and they are truly monstrous. Eventually, they approach the wall and the blue soldiers act. They jump and strike the monsters before returning up, if they're lucky. William and Pero witness what's happening. The apparent queen of the beasts shows up, so they aim, shooting many fireballs in her direction. It doesn't work, as they protect themselves in a dome. The queen gives an order, then they start climbing the walls. The general announces it's time for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Things are about to get ugly. Purple soldiers prepare to fight. William and Pero realize they're in trouble if not freed. A young soldier named Pang stares at them, and William tells him to fight, then he advances on the beast, while a stranger frees the two captives. Pang attacks and stabs the beast, and then is hit. But now, free, William and Pero jump into action to help him. William grabs a spear and stabs the TAOTAI. The beast is relentless, even after Pero causes some damage. The thing lunges at the soldier, but fortunately, he is skillfully pulled out of the way. It comes back again and William thrusts his spear into its mouth. But the creature doesn't die. Pero passes another spear and that doesn't kill it, so they push it deeper. Pero grabs a red cloth and William takes a bow and arrow. They start killing the beasts as if it were a bullfight. The stranger who freed them flees from the beast, then Pero pulls him out of the way and William slides underneath him and shoots the beast in the eyes, thus finishing it. The queen calls all the creatures to retreat. Lin and the generals approach them and the two drop their weapons. They are informed they have earned the general's praise and are sent to rest in the barracks. William and Pero are woken up by the stranger. The man introduces himself as Ballard and asks what they are doing there, and they say they came looking for gunpowder. After explaining what they are looking for, he says he came to China for the same reasons, 25 years ago. He continues saying that finding the gunpowder and getting out alive are two different things. Later, the two are invited to a banquet and are welcomed in the name of the general. Another general asks why William uses such a primitive bow compared to his level. William argues that his weapon is unsurpassed. The general asks him to demonstrate the effectiveness of such a weapon. William questions this decision but complies. He then asks Pero to grab a cup. 
They stand back to back, and William eventually asks him to throw the cup at very specific measures. He shoots the first arrow, hitting it towards the column, and a second and third, keeping the cup suspended on the column. Everyone is impressed and applauds such skill. Back at the wall, Lin shows him the bungee device they used during the battle and asks if he wants to try. He doesn't seem very interested because of the height but accepts the offer after she challenges him. She straps him in and says that in the army they don't fight for food, they fight for something greater than themselves. She says they work with trust to guide him, and then he looks at her and refuses to jump, saying he's only alive because he didn't trust anyone. Ballard shows them the gunpowder and says there are many weapons and things they haven't seen on the Great Wall and many things they should hope never to see. Finally, he says the right time to leave is when the battle begins. Later in the war meeting, William is asked where he got the stone in his bag, and he says he found it. Strategist Wang says the stone may be useful to him. William asks where the TAOTI came from and is told about a legend. Over 20 centuries before him, there was an emperor whose greed brought suffering to China and its people. A meteor fell to earth and created the mountain from where the beast came, turning it green. The TAOTAI come every 60 years to remind them what happens when greed is unchecked. He warns that if they pass through the wall, they will go to the capital and then there will be no stopping them. The queen will have enough food to create thousands and thousands more TAOTAI, and no army will be big enough to face them. Then, at night, they find dead soldiers on the wall and wonder why the bodies were left behind. A lone beast is on the wall hunting, so they advance, hoping to kill it. As it approaches, Lin and the general prepare to fight, but another beast sneaks up behind them while the other advances. They kill the one in front of them, and the general pushes Lin out of the way, killing the other but also getting seriously injured. Then the general is carried on a stretcher and gives Lin the power to command the Nameless Order, a command he gives with his last breath. They put him in a coffin and pay tribute. Soldiers line the wall and lanterns are released. Now, in the war meeting, they talk about a magnet, which is the stone that William and Pero had when they arrived, and Wang believes that's why William was able to kill the beast so easily. Lin asks how they can prove this, and William suggests capturing one and testing to see what effect it has. Then, the next day, with fog over the mountains, they fill their spears with a sedative agent and quietly wait to hear anything that might be coming to the wall. William sneaks away after one of the soldiers is sent away. Meanwhile, Ballard and Pero are ready to leave. Moments later, we see that the beasts approached unnoticed and suddenly start attacking. Lin tells the death squad to start the counterattack, so they jump and attack the monsters. Blades come out of the walls and start slicing the beasts. William seeing the battle before him, hesitates to leave. Ballard tells Pero they need to go, but Pero knows they can't leave without William because of his archery skills. The soldiers manage to pin some of the beasts with their spears, but another TAOTAI takes them out. One chance remains to catch the beast. William returns and tells him to stop pulling and instead wait for the sedative to work. Then they shoot some fireballs at it, hoping to separate it from the others. William grabs the arrows and goes down to the battlefield. Lin tells him to take the arrows that make sound with the wind, which helps to hear them approaching. He jumps and goes down the chain while the arrows pass by him and hit the Tao Tai. William ties up the sleeping TAOTAI, and they start to pull. Suddenly he is attacked, but he manages to kill the beast, but a second surprises him in the back. Fortunately, Pero is there to help him. They manage to kill one of the creatures, but realize that fire is not stopping them. Then, William shoots arrows into the air, and Lin prepares weapons with black powder. The arrows explode, they are thrown back, and the walls open. Soldiers collect them and take them inside. Later, William wakes up as they try to heal him. Lin tells him that Pero is okay. She asks why he went beyond the wall. He responds that it was because of trust. He looks at his fingers and sees the black powder. She wishes he had never seen it because it's a terrible weapon they hope never to use. She fears man's greed will use the gunpowder to cause devastation, but before leaving, she tells him to forget what he saw. Moments later, everyone surrounds the beast with spears. Wang places the stone near it and watches the unruly beast become docile. Everyone is surprised by that reaction, but Wang is more shocked when someone says to send it to the capital. He argues that they should study it there, but is informed it's an imperial order. 
With that, the captured TAOTAI is taken away. The TAOTAI movement makes everyone prepare for battle. Paro and Ballard prepare to leave, and Ballard questions how he knows William won't betray him. He says he doesn't know. They return to Ballard's room, where he takes his stock of black powder. William enters the room later to find they've disappeared and a visible hole in the wall alerts them that they plan to escape. Meanwhile, soldiers go down the wall and enter a cave that extends underground. This shows that the TAOTAI pass through there. Lin convenes her generals, discussing that now the TAOTAI have access to the capital and are probably on their way. Desperate to reach the capital in time, they decide to use their new war balloons, which have not been fully tested. Ballard and Pero reach the gates and put dynamite on them. It doesn't explode, so Pero goes to check. When he approaches, everything explodes, pushing them back. William hears the explosion and runs toward it. The soldier William saved follows him. William finds them in the weapons room stealing and preparing to flee. They try to convince him to flee with them, but he believes staying and fighting the TAOTAI is more important. Pero says they are doomed and there's no reason. William rejects him, saying his plans are to stay and fight, they then knock things over him, leaving him unconscious. In the capital, the captured TAOTAI is brought to the emperor. His advisors told him that the magnet was an important discovery. Unfortunately, they don't know what's coming. William is brought to the generals and Lin, shackled. He tries to explain, but she doesn't want to listen. She says that if she wasn't a general, she would kill him, but then Peng defends him, saying he's telling the truth. Then, she orders him to be imprisoned and go after the two who escaped. In the escape, Ballard betrays Pero and takes the horses. On the wall, the balloons take off for the skies. William watches from his cell while some fail completely. Conveniently, Lin's works, and William is released, being informed that the plan failed. The TAOTAI is approaching the capital, and Lin said he must be released because the world is about to end. Then, he asks where she is and looks to the skies, to the balloons that haven't fallen. He asks if there's still a chance, but is informed that only by killing the queen is there any chance of survival. Then, William goes in a balloon after her, and his friend also goes with him. Ballard is found by the bandits, and is tied up. They find his black powder and one falls in the fire, causing an explosion. The soldiers arrive at the capital and are greeted by a lot of TAOTAI. Lin attacks the beasts, but ends up falling to the ground and is quickly surrounded. Fortunately, William arrives with the balloon and rescues her, he grabs his spear and holds it, while they float through the city with the beasts trying to reach them. Wang gives Lin a grenade, which is thrown at an approaching beast, causing it to explode. She asks why he's there, considering she didn't release him, but they don't have time to talk because they've found the queen, and that's an unpleasant sight. They land and are greeted by the emperor's guards. They go to the emperor, who tells them it's too late, but they say if they kill the queen, it might end. The plan is to send the captured beast to its queen in hopes of blowing it up when it gets close, thus killing the queen. They take it through the underground canals to get close. They are attacked but save their men, although with some injuries. William takes a look at his injured friend, but he says he'll live, and they continue down the corridor, intending to come back for him. When the TAOTAI find them, the young man makes the ultimate sacrifice of his life and blows himself up, ensuring they can continue with the plan. They prepare the captured beast and open the doors before grabbing the magnet and slowly retreating. The beast wakes up and wants to attack him initially, but the magnet repels it, so it leaves. It feeds and goes away. They watch as it is taken to the inner circle where the queen is. William and Lin go to the top of the tower to get a clear shot, while Wang stays with the magnet at the door. They shoot, but the shot doesn't hit the target because the queen's protection makes the defense. They climb higher, but now the queen has seen them and has her creatures attack the tower. Wang throws the magnet, and Lin catches it, but he is killed right after. William shoots again, but the shot is deflected, leaving the queen even angrier. William has one last shot of black powder. Before they are killed, the two jump from the tower and narrowly escape the creatures. William throws the magnet and Lin takes the final shot. The queen swallows the explosive powder, trying to stop the impending destruction, but is unsuccessful. She explodes completely and dies. They watch the TAOTAI fall like zombies, without a queen to command them. Some time later, back at the Great Wall, William finds Pero shackled. 
They joke a little before William reveals he was given a choice between black powder or taking his friend home. He then frees Pero, who is shocked that he chose him. On the way home, the two ex-bandits are escorted out of the wall, and William looks back, while Lin watches him leave. Pero asks if he wants to go back, and William says yes, but he doesn't trust that his friend will get home whole.